Welcome to my world, man. All I can tell you is like I'm very honored here to uh, be able to do this for a living in the first place, which is a pretty cool job even after all these years. I'd like to show you some of my, my instruments that I'm very, very proud of. Some new ones and some old favorites that you may have seen before uh, in various tours and whatnot, but I got a lot of new stuff this time. The Music Man uh, Dargy Delight, which is a, a rare guitar. You can see it here. And it was made, especially for me, in this, uh, I would say, olive green. Very interesting here, but you must really notice what's on the headstock here. Little martini glasses. All those inlays, all the martini. Love this guitar. And uh, thank you to uh, Scotty Ball for making this happen. And of course I have my new Flash Ernie Ball straps, you know. Thank you, Brian Ball. Uh, what we got here, here's, here's, a, here's a beautiful quilt top right here. It's uh, the Ball Family Reserve, which is uh, only going to be for this particular year, I believe. They only make a certain amount of colors, a certain number of them, so people get into this stuff, and like anything else that people like to collect, they want to get the whole lot, you know, if you're crazy enough to do that sort of thing. I would say, oh, this, is, this one is really cool. There was only, I don't even know how many of these were made. Not only is it the beautiful like uh, flame, flame top that you see right here, but it's also, it's got this uh, maple block in here, which gives a little bit more of a crunchy Les Paul sort of a sound as opposed to, you know, my, my normal EMG stuff, but uh, still retaining the, the classic Music Man vibe and sound and feel. Um, what do you see here? Here's the Bahama Blue. A lot of, getting a lot of action on this one. This is another of the Ball Family Reserve, which you can see right here. And they're all so beautiful, and I wish I could play them all at the same time, but, you know, as one does uh, <coughs> go through different things, I have some different tunings here, really nothing too much deeper than a drop D on, a, on the first couple of tracks, just to give it that, you know, <coughs> that crunchier sound. This has to be my old fave right here. <coughs> this, old, this old boy and I have gone through a few nicks and dents along the way. Mine are covered up, but these are still here. Uh, this has a little sustainer unit on it, which I rarely use, but occasionally it's a little bit of fun. Uh, this one has, you can see that it's had a lot of sweat on it. This, you know, they're all great guitars, but some of them are really just, you just fall in love with just one, one or two that you just go, oh, well, I got to go back to this one if I'm going to, for the full shred or whatever, you know what I mean? And this little red candy, I have a red guy. This is sort of like the spare to that, which is also one of my favorites. Uh, I know I know Biff will be pissed off, but sometimes I put a smoke up here and it's got a little burn mark on it, so it has a little personality. Uh, this is basically the same sort of setup. I love the tremolos that they have, the non-lock tremolo, uh, you know, to do all this other stuff. I used to have the Floyd Rose stuff on the first model, but, you know, as Bison, come over here and say hello. This is my guitar tech, Bison. Guitar tech to the stars. And you. Uh, and me, right? <laughs> yeah, which is not really in the same breath. And this man's a legend. Work, work with Angus Young. Oh my God, the Genesis Boys. I mean, you know, go on and on. You can get yeah, a little, Steve Lukather. Oh, oh, yeah. Him. Well, that, that guy sucks. That guy. Uh, I can kind of run you through this here. You can, if, you, if you come in, you can see some of the, what some of the stuff. Uh, like, that's just, this is like a regular sound, right? And if I trip, that has a little delay on these PCMs 70. That's the little Octavia unit. There. Now this is now this one just widens it all up here a little bit. Very subtle in the way it just spreads it a little bit. It's almost like doubling your instrument like you would in the recording studio. Uh, right here is that custom-made boss uh, unit that Bob Bradshaw made for me, which uh, you can kind of hear. It's beautiful for, beautiful for like, you know, chord changes. I wouldn't necessarily use it with a crunch sound, but I'd use it for the cleaner. And here's like the fa fast Leslie version of the same sort of thing. You 
use, using this stuff sparingly is really the key. You know, you can overdo anything. I like chocolate cake, but not at every meal. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a, a customized Univibe, which gives you that uh, Hendrixy sort of a sound, or Robin Trower made famous as well, which I use on only a couple tunes. But yeah. <laughs> Kind of dig where that's at, and this is the full shred. Uh, this is here in using conjunction with this uh, really cool pedal uh, the, that the radial people made for me, radial tone bone. You didn't see the back of the rack, but it's in there. It's very apparent, and really gives you the sustain from hell. You know. <laughs> That full like solo burn sound, you know. And that's uh, this is a volume pedal, and I have this wah wah pedal thing. That was rather Big Jim Sullivan-like what I just did there. Uh, obscure reference, but you old hipsters don't know who that is. Anyway, uh, and a chromatic tuner. Bang zoom, that's pretty much it.